Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist from Subaru Prince George here. Today we're taking a look at the 2023 Subaru Ascent Premier in the Magnetite Gray. So the Premier Ascent is the full load Ascent. Absolutely every bell and whistle from factory in the Ascent. 23's got a facelift for the Ascent, a much more aggressive front end, larger grille, more angular, slightly smaller headlights that are LEDs and steering responsive. New fog light bezels with the LED fog lights. And then at the bottom here, they've redone the front portion of the bumper clip as well. If you have it side by side with a previous gen or a previous model year ascent, you'll notice a pretty big difference. On the Premier, we do have front facing camera and I'll show you guys that inside. This is powered by a 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine producing 260 horsepower and 277 pounds feet of torque. Lots of power in this. This is the largest Subaru they've ever made. We've got our 20 inch wheels and the Falcon ZX tires. You've got power folding mirrors from the key fob. Tucks it in. Chrome handles, that's one of the designators along with the satin chrome mirror caps for a Premier. And of course they all come with the roof rails that you can get crossbars for when you're carrying things. Power lift gate at the back, activated from the key fob, from the door or from the driver's seat. And we do have the backup sensors in the rear bumper. Those will actually apply the rear brakes if it thinks you're gonna hit something in reverse between speeds of one and 15 kilometers an hour. This center piece can be removed when you get the hitch installed and the hitch is hidden essentially and you can put that cover back on for a more finished look. And these will tow up to 5,000 pounds when properly equipped. With the third row up, you still have good storage. It's very tall, very wide, very deep storage in the ascent. We have grocery bag hooks on either side. We've got a halogen cargo light along with a 12 volt outlet grocery bag hooks on both sides. Nice hard mount physical tie downs in both rear corners here. If you have anything awkward you need to secure underneath here, we have our privacy cover and then we have access to our spare tire tools. Some back here and then one underneath here as well. And this is the only vehicle in Subaru's lineup where the tire is underneath the vehicle. And that is because of the third row. Now with the third row folded down, which is very easy to do. You simply lift and push. You've got an astronomical amount of room, tons and tons of storage. And even up front here in the corners, we have physical hard mount tie downs. This square on either side is where your privacy cover mounts in. We do have two USB ports in the back along with device storage and cup holders on either side. 19 cup and bottle holders in the ascents. There's lots of cup holders, bottle holders in this. And these seats, you can adjust to multiple levels of recliness and then the headrests just pop up. And the Premier only comes as a seven seater. You cannot get it with a bench seat in the middle. Now we can close it by pulling down on the handle. We have the close, we also have the close and lock button. So this will close the hatch, lock all the doors so you don't have to fish your keys out of your pocket or walk back up front to lock it. Simply press release. Tail lights are gonna flash, there's gonna be a small audible. There you go. Let's confirm that it's locked, still locked there. Handle, and when I put my hand in here, the mirrors are gonna pop out and the hazards flash. And of course that only unlocked the driver, so I'll use the key fob. Once does driver, twice does all the doors, including the hatch. Second row. This has the Napa brown leather interior. And I say Napa brown, it's, it's a very traditional brown you see on Napa leather. Goes well with the exterior. Very soft, supple, comfortable seats. Captain's chairs are much more comfortable for teenagers and adults. If your goal is to stuff as many people in the ascent as possible, you will want to go with a limited in an eight seater if you're after, if you're still after leather. Captain's chairs have fold down armrests that are adjustable. different levels. These are handles so you can leverage your way through into the third row. Now you can either go through the middle, which is very easy, especially if you have something like child seats or booster seats on these two front seats on the side and both sides do this. 
slides forward. This is designed to be a step, and you can walk in to the third row. So these second row seats are adjustable. Got a manual bar under the front here. Simply lift, lock, and it locks. And I'll just fold this and quite a bit more room. So you can adjust it so that taller people with longer legs can fit in the third row, which is nice. Out of the center console for the second row, we have cup holders. We have a 120 volt, 100 watt house plug, two USB ports, A and C for charging. And then we have our own climate controls for the second and third rows, along with the outer two captain's chairs being heated with high and low settings. So interesting thing about the climate controls, they're out of the roof. So you actually feel the heat or the air conditioning much more quickly as a passenger. Map back pockets on the rear of both front seats. Nice cup holder. We've got two bottle holders with a little bit of storage. Nice, easy to grip handle. You've even got a spot to put your thumb in there. Soft touch, soft touch. You've got the wood grain. We have the sunshades, which are an awesome feature. They've actually brought these out as an accessory for the trim levels that don't have these. Keeps it much darker if someone's trying to take a nap. And it's definitely better than rolling down the window, putting a blanket in and rolling the blanket in. Less, less pinched fingers with that. Now, we do have the two steps. Great if you're loading something up there because I'm a taller guy. This is eye level with me right here. So these are quite tall. So if you're putting something in a toolie or something, getting that extra 14, 18 inches of height make it way easier. Should you need it, child lock. And you have to do both doors individually. They're not tied together. I do get asked about this little black piece all the time. That's what that little silver crash nub sits in. So this is part of a bar, increases the strength of the door in the event of a side impact. Subaru is all about safety. That's one of the big things. Now, with it being a proximity key, keys in my pocket within 46 inches, all I have to do to lock it, I touch these lines and both the front driver and pa front passenger door has this and it locks. It's really, really easy. The other way, of course, key fob, press and then to unlock I can either click the Subaru logo or simply put my hand in there and you can turn off the audible chime if you don't like it now something I'm going to show you inside you have a camera right there so we have a camera underneath each mirror for the 360 degree camera in the ascent premiere front driver door card looks very similar same layout faux wood trim, we've got our window lock, we've got our auto windows, our power mirror adjustment. We have the ability to fold the mirrors in just at the press of a button. Great if you're parked on the side of the road, waiting for your kid to come out of school, something like that. Two bottle holders with a little bit of storage. We do still have the Harman Kardon audio system in this awesome audio system in the Ascent. Power driver's seat, including lumbar, and that is what our two position memory settings for. Now, it won't remember your lumbar support level or our manual thigh extender level, which is great if you have longer legs and the shorter seats cut your circulation off, but it'll remember your height, your tilt, all of that. And it's the same seat material, a little bit more aggressive bolstering than in the second row. Headrests are adjustable on tilt, so you can have it closer to the back of your head if you'd like. And of course, we do have the little Subaru logo lighting there. That will illuminate your driver door handle when you get close to the vehicle or when you click on lock from a distance. Now, by the driver's left knee, we have the ability to open the rear hatch, we have the ability to turn on all of the interior lights, and then we have a scroll wheel for the brightness of your gauges. Now, this piece here and here, it used to be cream colored. It really used to break up that dash in the Ascents and it would go all the way along. They've done it in black, which I think really suits the vehicle. And above that, we have a little bit of storage here. Be careful what you put there. If it's black, it does blend in. I did misplace a pair of sunglasses for about a week in one of our lot vehicles. So just something to be aware of. Push button start, foot's on the brake, light's green. Foot's not on the brake, light is not green. Green means go. Got little LEDs up there. That's part of the eyesight safety system. And I don't know if the camera caught it, but we do have blind spot detection. So we have the little black screens in each side mirror and they will illuminate like so, on the corresponding side, when someone's in your blind spot, or going to be. It doesn't eliminate shoulder checking, but it's great if, you know, you kink your neck, you can't sleep, you, you sleep on it funny, you can't turn quite as far as normal. But visibility in this, it's pretty freaking phenomenal, really. 
Subaru's known for safety and visibility, and I think they've done a great job with this ascent. Steering wheel, this is the Napa leather steering wheel. It's kind of velvety. It's definitely different than a regular leather wrap steering wheel. So I would recommend if you can come feel one. It, it feels velvety. It's nice. It's something to get used to for sure. New style steering wheel that you see in all the new modern Subarus, refreshed, redesigned ones. Left hand side, volume is on a toggle left to right instead of being up and down here. Got Bluetooth accept call, hang up or decline, issue voice command, switch between presets, switch from AM to FM to satellite to aux, etc. This now changes our little upper display and gives us different information depending on what we want to look at, what we're looking at, time, temperature, lots of good features. Right hand side, we have our adaptive cruise and our lane centering. Now, both of those use these two black boxes, those are our eyesight cameras, and this is the new third eyesight camera, wide angle, so it gives it a better field of view left to right, picks up pedestrians and cyclists, uh, ideally other vehicles, much more quickly than before. Not that the other system was bad, this is just newer, more modern, better in that regard. So when I've turned on the cruise, I get an image of the ascent there, and you'll notice that there's four bars ahead of it. That's the follow distance behind the vehicle ahead of you that you'll follow at if you catch up while using cruise you can follow closer every time you press down it decreases the bar four bars at 100 kilometers an hour is roughly 150 to 180 feet behind the vehicle ahead of you so plenty of distance now we do also have lane centering when i turn that on you get the little image of the steering wheel above 60 kilometers an hour if the road lines can be seen on either side whether that's one or both those cameras can see them. They'll illuminate white and it'll actually give you gentle steering input to keep you in the center of your lane. It's a really cool feature. I don't recommend it around town. It can actually be a little bit inhibitive, but second half of a long day of driving, it's phenomenal. Heated wheel and it's the whole wheel, except for right here, there's a little dead spot there. I think that's where the wires come in for the heating elements. I don't need that today, so I'm gonna turn that off, but it gets absolutely cooking. We do have paddles, upshift and downshift if you wanna manually select your gears with the CVT. To the right, we have our driver focus system. So you can scan your face in and you can do your memory settings for your seat based on your face, but it will also tell you if you're paying attention to the road or if you're distracted, and it'll also tell you if you're drowsy. Very, very cool. You can have five drivers scanned in there. Subaru won some awards for it. it came out in 2019 and it's only been getting better. We've got our 11.6 inch touchscreen infotainment system and they've broken it into three portions. Top portion here, We've got what we're listening to. We've got navigation destinations. So if I put something into map and then go to radio, I can still have directions up here, turn right 200 meters, that sort of thing. We've got widgets, which I can change around. I just select them and I'm just gonna set them to the same ones that I normally do because they're the ones that most people ask for. So water temp, oil temp, calendar, there you go. We've got weather, that's part of the three month trial of the satellite radio you get with most new Subarus. And then we get dual function X mode in the Premier Ascent. So it's like four x four low in a pickup. It's for speeds under 40 kilometers an hour, super steep uphill, downhill, rough terrain. So you have to be going under 20 kilometers an hour to engage, press snow and dirt, snow and dirt mode, rough terrain mode, downhill descent control, deep snow and mud, deep snow and mud also turns off traction control to allow for excess wheel spin to chew you out. It's a very cool feature. I would say that 99% of people are never going to need to use it, but it takes a very capable vehicle and turns it into something even more capable. Center portion, kind of our home screen. Home screen is right here. We've got map, navigation, powered by TomTom, Tom, and we can go full screen with it if you needed to. No charge for this. It's free for the life of the vehicle. You've got it. Radio, media would be Bluetooth or aux or USB plugged in, phone, hook up your phone for Bluetooth, apps, we'll have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You do gain access to the My Subaru app after the vehicle's registered in your name. Settings, you can change, car info, set maintenance reminders, really easy to do that. And then we have our volume knob, because yes, we still have physical knobs, volume and tuning knobs. And then we have things like vehicle control, driving assistance, change it to miles per hour, miles per gallon, change the warning volumes. We can hook up additional phones and you can set driver profiles if you wanted. Now, the bottom portion of the screen, which is also up here on the sides, is our climate controls. So it's set to high right now. I'm gonna turn that down because it's absolutely cooking in here. So it is dual zone. 
but I can click, I can drag, I can also use the buttons on the side, and it is dual zone, so passenger can have it warmer or cooler than the driver, easy to sync it back. Uh, choose where I want my airflow being directed, if I want AC, recirc, and that screen will disappear after a little bit of time with no input from the driver. So you don't have to worry about exiting out of it while you're driving if you make any adjustments, which is very, very handy. We have three stages of heated seats and ventilated seats for both the front driver and front passenger. Now it's important to note, the ventilated seats are pulling cabin air through the seats it's not air conditioning it's not blowing cold air on you it's sucking hot air away from you so if you hop in the vehicle and it's sitting in the direct sun on a 35 degree day it's going to be pulling hot air in for the first little bit till the cab cools down rear control i can turn it on i can choose where i want it being directed feet and face just feet i can do it just out of the top vents control i can lock people out from playing with it in the second row if they're monkeying around with it I can set it to auto or I just hit sync and it syncs all three of them together which is great or if no one's back there I don't need to heat or cool the back I can just turn it off nice big button for the fan strength turn on EC easily turn off the climate control easily they made it really intuitive and really user friendly down below here a little bit of media storage we have a 12 volt outlet there rubberized USB A and C sockets for charging or listening to music if you plug in for that. Aux, front view camera. Well, actually 360 in this. So shows me where I'm at. And it'll just cycle through. You can press some buttons. Press the camera button, again, shuts it off. As soon as I put it in reverse, it brings up my regular backup camera, shows me if it's picking anything up on the sensors. You can press the view button again and it gives you a top-down view of the ascent. You could have 360 top-down as well as reverse. Just reverse. And I can just change that also by pressing up here. It's very, very handy. When I put it in drive and I press view, it just gives me the 360. And then it shows me my front corners. These are the cameras underneath the front mirrors. So if I turn the wheel to the left, you can see the left, turn it to the right, the right, and you can see the front there. It does give you a little indication of how far it can see, which is pretty cool. Automatic CVT. And like I mentioned, paddle shifters, you use it in manual mode by pulling towards yourself. First gear, second gear. And now it's not going to let me start in sixth. It'll only let you start in first or second, but you can choose that and you can cycle through the rest of the gears while you're driving. Parking brake, you pull up to activate, foot on the brake and push down to deactivate it. I've turned it on. If my foot's not on the brake and I push down, it doesn't go off and it actually says to press the brake. Cup holders, really nice center console, change tray, VIN stickers, and there are no power points in there, but there's two places to run your cords out of. My favorite feature in any vehicle, auto dimming rear view mirror. So this automatically dims. You don't need to flick a switch if someone's got their high beams on behind you and your side mirrors are also auto dimming. But as you can see, I've got the headrest there. Now, if that was full of people or cargo, I just do this and there's a camera out of the back. It's really, really cool. So you can actually see above that center headrest, there's another little box coming down in the middle of the window. That's the camera, which is very cool. So do that and see if I can get it. You can see the wiper going there and the fluid. So you can kind of clean it. It's not directly on the camera because the camera's behind the glass, but it's there. Got our home link system. You can hook up to three separate garage doors to your mirror. So you don't have to carry a bulky opener with you. And then we do have some settings here. We can change the mirror, set up the home link. You can calibrate for the compass and change a couple things. It's very, very handy. Built-in compass, of course. We have our, oh, that's a little sticky. Let's see if I can stop that. It was just a little sticky. So we've got sunglass storage paired with a spy mirror, conversation mirror. Keep an eye on people in the back without having to turn around. Up top here, we do have 
the SOS and the concierge. That's part of the three-year trial of the connected services you get with most new Subarus. We've got our map lights. Then we have our sunroof shade. So the shade is electric because it opens all the way. It is a dual panel sunroof moonroof combo. So only this front portion opens and tilts. The back is just for light. But if you want the light in the front, but you have people in the back that are trying to sleep or just don't like the sun, you can stop it at any point. And that's all just from that. This will do our tilt and our slide. On the sun visor, we have card holder, vanity mirror with lights, and then I can pull that over and slide that if the sun's directly to my left or right. Now, I know I mentioned the engine that's in this, but let's take a look. We do also have a rear seat reminder because the back door was opened within 30 minutes of turning on the ignition. Down here, hood release. You do have to reach a little bit further back than you thought you would. Feels like you're reaching way further back. And up front here to open the hood, you face the Subaru, you go into the right hand side of the logo, hand in facing down, move from right to left. And that right there is the piece that you're moving. So this is the 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer engine that Subaru uses to power the ascent. 260 horsepower, 277 pounds feet of torque, lots of power. This is for your top mount intercooler. It feeds air through it for better combustion. And pretty much everything in yellow is what the average consumer is going to touch during their ownership. Brake fluid, oil, washer fluid, coolant, the filters in blue up top, our dipstick. And then we have really, really easy access to the air filter on the top there, which is great. And then to close it, I just like to drop it. I don't like to put it down and press on it because I feel like I'm going to break it doing that. We'll give you guys a quick walk around 360 view of the Ascent Premier in the Magnetite Gray. The full load with every single bell and whistle available from factory on the Ascent. They don't drive as large as they seem, which is nice. It's not, doesn't feel like you're driving a school bus or anything like that. Thank you for watching my quick walkthrough of the 2023 Subaru Ascent Premier. I'm tasting the Subaru Specials from Subaru Print Storage. If you guys have any questions about the Ascent or any of the vehicles in our lineup, any of the tech, anything you saw in my video but I didn't elaborate on for you, please put it in the comments below. I'm always looking to answer you guys' questions. And if I don't have the answer, I'll try to find the answer for you. That being said, I am at a smaller Subaru dealership in British Columbia. If you're in BC and the wait time's too long for you at your closest dealer, please reach out to me. I'd love to help you get the perfect Subaru. Again, thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.